This lesson, we're going to be setting up a simple task manager. So the idea is that you've got a spreadsheet, you've got a bunch of tasks, the due date of the tasks that you're adding into the spreadsheet, and then the status of it. So if the status of it is pending, then it's going to notify you. And if that task is due today, then it's going to notify you. And you can adjust these settings as needed. You can adjust it for a few days ahead as well for the due date. So depending on how you want your task manager to function. And then we've got, if it's marked completed, then it's not going to send you that task as a due task. This is the code behind the scenes. You can set up a trigger to automate that and it'll send you these daily messages that the tasks are due and the due dates for the tasks. Go ahead and create a brand new Google Sheet and then within the sheet, we're gonna add in some headers. So headers is task name, due date, and status. And then fill out some sample data underneath there. Hit over to extensions in the menu bar there and hit apps script. And that will open up the bound script editor where you're gonna be able to see and access the script editor to create a function. So we're gonna create a function and this is gonna be send daily task summary. So it's gonna be sending that daily task summary. Well, first we wanna select the sheet object that's gonna contain that task summary. We're using the spreadsheet app service. We're getting the active spreadsheet and we can do this because this is a bound script. And then we want to get sheet by name and then the name of the sheet. So get sheet by name is the method that we wanna use. And then this requires a string value for the name of the sheet. So let's uh, put in a sheet name so that this is gonna be the sheet that we're gonna be selecting and I'll call it tasks. So going back to the script, we'll have a string name called tasks and this is gonna be the sheet name that we're gonna be selecting. So it's gonna select the active spreadsheet object using the variable sheet name and we can log it within the log just to make sure that we have selected the sheet properly. Run the code and if you haven't accepted permissions you're gonna to have to accept permissions at this point. So you should see within the execution log that we've got the sheet object and that means that we're ready to get the data range. So let's select the data range where we want to select all of the values. So we're going to be using the get data range from the sheet object that we've selected. And that allows us to select all of the values that are currently available within the sheet. So we'll select this entire range of data and we can use that and we can get the values by using another method. And I'll just call this uh, values. And we're using the range that we've selected and getting the values returned back within an array format from that range. So we can output the values now within the log. So you can see the data that we are getting from the spreadsheet. So we see that it's within an array format. So this is an array and array within uh, a nested array format. So that's exactly what we want for the data. So let's select the current date and we wanna use uh, the new date method, which will return back the new current date and we want to remove the time part of the day. So selecting the date object, let's set the hours. And this is gonna remove out any additional hours that we have within the day so that we can just get the total day part of the value that's being returned back. So once again, we can save that, select the today value, output it, and we've got the day value there that's being returned back. So now we can set and check for any of the tasks that are due. So let's create another variable where we want to get the values and filter the values according to the current date. So tasks, and we'll call this task due today. So it's gonna check through the values using the filter and this is uh, one of the functions. We're gonna filter through the rows and return back the relevant data. So what we wanna use in order to filter it. So let's get the date. So this is the due date that we have. So selecting the new date and we're gonna take content that's returned back within row and index value of one. 
So that will return back the content here within B because we're going to be array based. So column A is going to be zero, column B is going to be one. So that's going to return it back within a date format. And you can also use the logger to just to see what we're logging out there. And for the filter, we want to return back the relevant values. So let's uh, also clean up the due date just as we did for when we set the hours to zero. So it cleans it up and removes out the part where we've got the hours set since we don't need that. And we want to simply return back the due date and get value of if it's equal to, so this is going to be the condition, that if it's equal to today value of, and it's also equal to row with index value of two is equal to pending. Because we want to only check for those ones that are pending, so to return those back. And we'll see what we get returned back. So those are all of the values that are contained within the task name there. And what we also want to do is we can remove back or remove off of that first part of the row of the data since we're returning back all four. So we can clean that up. But right now it is returning back all of those values. And we want to only return back the pending ones. So let's see what we've got back now for the tasks due today. And then before we go through those. So tasks due today. So it's done a filter on the content that we have. So let's run that again. And so there currently isn't anything that's due today. So let's update the current date. We'll update it to be today. Run the code again. And that's going to return back the one task that is currently due today. Let's clean up that additional row where we've got the get values. So this is just going to be all of the data. And then we're going to return back as values. So selecting out using the slice method, where we're going to slow slice out from the data and use slice and return back the rows of data after that selection log out and we'll see now we've got within the values we should only have the three rows of where we've actually got content in so let's run that again so that gives us just the three with the tasks whereas before with the data and this is just a comparison to what's being returned back. So with the data, we're returning back that first header row. And if we do the values, then we're going to be only returned. <coughs> we're going to be returning back the ones that are just the values within this selection. So now we have the tasks that are due. And we're ready to move on to the next part where we check to see the tasks that are due. So we check to see if there's any tasks today and if this has a length and we saw that it does have one item that's there so if length is greater than zero then what we want to do is we'll get the message body we'll create the message body and this will just say tasks due today sending as a text message so do the line breaks there uh, we want to set the subject and the subject is going to be just daily tasks that so will return back the daily tasks and it's going to be sending it to the recipient so we also want to get the email address so we can use the session get active user so it's going to return back the active user of the spreadsheet and then we want to get that email address of the active user so this is going to be who we're sending it to so currently it's going to be sent to the script that uh, I'm creating, so the same as the script owner here, uh, which is gonna be my account. We add in the subject, and then we do the message body. And that's gonna send the email out. To, out, and we gotta accept the permissions because we've added into our app script. So just going ahead and accepting the new permissions for the script to run, and send the email. And let's uh, go over to the inbox. And there we've got the permissions that we accepted. And then this is the task due today. So it'd be nice if we can list out the tasks. So let's go ahead and we're going to add that into the script as well. So within the message body, so tasks due today, 
and then we want to let's update the message body and we're going to turn it into a let and this will give us an option here to update them so tasks due today we're going to use the for each to loop through and select each one of the tasks as a task and then we're going to just add it to the message body so concatenate it to the message body and do the task with the index value of zero so that will give us the task value and then we're just going to concatenate and do a line break as well to that so save that and we'll try that another time and see if it actually sends us the tasks that are due today so we've got tasks due today so task one is due today so let's uh, also update these to be also due today and we'll try to run the script again and now we've got multiple tasks that are due today so there's our listing so it's only going to have the ones that are pending if they're marked completed then it's not going to get sent out and so what you can do is then once you've created the script and you're happy with the way that it's running and I'll do a quick update to the script as well where I can use the template literals or the backticks in order to indicate the task so let's do that where we're going to update these to the template literals to just to modernize it a little bit more and save that so it's not going to change with what's being output just modernized it it's another way to output that content as a string value using the template literal so that's how you can set up and create a simple task manager and then once you're ready you can go over into the triggers and set this trigger so add the trigger and send task summary from the spreadsheet and we can set it up on a time based trigger so the event is going to be time based and we can set this to a daily timer maybe midnight at 1 a.m. so it will notify and send out any of the available tasks for that day and that's how you can set up a simple task manager using Google Apps Script